Hey Scorpios and welcome back for another tarot reading. Happy birthday to all of my lovely, lovely abundant Scorpios. Happy birthday to the 1111 twin flame energy type of Scorpios in this thing. Happy birthday to you. May you continuously elevate spiritually uh, so that you can constantly manifest the desires of your heart and also be a significant blessing to others because that's who you are, Scorpio. So happy birthday to all of my Scorpios. Now, Scorpios, this is another general reading. Uh, so it's not going to resonate with every single Scorpio out there. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if you are newly subscribed to my channel, thank you so, so much for joining uh, Brown Eyes Intuitions here at Brown Eyes Intuitions, or Brown Eyes, rather, and joining the Scorpio community, the Scorpio family over here, where we love on you, uh, where we help one another heal, where we encourage each other, and we just grow. We just grow. That's what we do. Scorpio, it's Scorpio, you should be so proud of yourself because I could tell that you guys have come such a very, very long way. And although you may not be exactly where you desire to be, Scorpio, you still come such a mighty, mighty long way. So be proud of yourself. Constantly elevate yourself and celebrate yourself too, Scorpio, because you are so, so worth it, Scorpio. So Scorpio, uh, since we're still in your birthday season, I feel like we need to pull your energy uh, for what spirit may want you to know that's going to help you uh, be the best Scorpio be the best energy you can be, how you can attract things. And based on these cards, because I've already pre-pulled pre them, Scorpio, because I was meditating on your energy, Scorpio. It seems like to me, spirit is preparing Scorpio for love. It's just, and look, I'm using the Whispers of Love Oracle cards here, if you're interested, for those who might want to know. Uh, Whispers of Love Oracle deck here. But it seems like spirit is preparing old Scorpio for love. Scorpio, you're about to be in love. Now, if you're not ready for love, you need to stop doing what you're doing, okay? <laughs> for those who love is coming, you, it's something you're doing, um, but Spirit is preparing you for love, Scorpio. So prepare yourself, Scorpio. So let's begin with this first card here. So this is the number 42 card. This says rest and relaxation is essential, Scorpio. Rest and relaxation is essential for you, Scorpio. It says, uh, we all have a fundamental need to take a break. So you know how sometimes you overextend yourself, Scorpio, because we're known to be so loving and so nurturing. To so people think that we're just a big ass, <laughs> they think we're just a big wimp when it comes to, uh, you know, really saying no and really standing firm on your answer. Because we are so loving and giving, you know, a lot of times people uh, kind of take your kindness for a weakness and they think you just old big pushover baby, but they just don't know that, that the way you give is from a genuine place. That's really who you are. You're, you're, you're giving, you're, you're loving, you're nurturing. That's who you are. So no one really ever can get over on Scorpio because what Scorpio do is naturally of Scorpio. So if you thought you was making Scorpio act some type of way and you was using Scorpio, that's not true because that's who you really had. You had you a real one, okay? So I feel like Spirit is telling you, you're going to have to look out for yourself for a change, Scorpio. Uh, you can say no sometimes. You can decline some things. You can just take, take some time to just do whatever you want to do that's going to help you uh, refocus your attention, re recharge your energy, uh, you know, you know, get get your energy back. Uh, keep, keep your energy kind of safe and protected here. A lot of times you have to pull back on a lot of different things just to see about yourself. Because a lot of times when you're the giver, 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 you very seldom have people that give you back like you give them. And I'm not saying, you know, every Scorpio is going through that, but for this rest and relaxation, Dealing with Scorpio emotions, we know that Scorpio is a very given person, very given energy here. And this is for masculine as well as feminine. It doesn't matter. But it's telling you rest and relaxation. Uh, don't forget about yourself. You know, in all of your nurturing energy and your giving energy, don't forget to give to Scorpio. Because if you don't give to yourself, you can't give to anyone else. This is like, 
I think someone asked me a question back in the day because you know I I like to I like to be surround myself with people who ask me uh, mind mind challenging things or things that's going to promote me or it pro, uh, provoke me to think like I try to do. But I think someone asked me. They say, okay, so if, if you was in a position where it was you and the children, and you only had uh just enough, let's say you only had one portion, one ration of food. Do you give the ch- the food to the children or do you eat it? And so, you know, by you being a mother and by you being a love and nurture energy, automatically you will say, well, I'm going to take care of my kids. You know, I'm going to give my children. But the logical side will tell you what well, shit. I'm going to have to eat <laughs> because I'm the one that got to get out there and make it happen. So if, if I ain't no good, then I can't save everybody else, so to speak. So sometimes you have to save yourself, Scorpio, before you can save anybody else, okay? And after, after all, Scorpio, it's your birthday. God dang. So your next card, Scorpio, is the number 36 card. It says, turn on your heart light. Now, this is deep. <laughs> I tell you, these cards came out. I say these cards must know that this is Scorpio's reading because it's like spirits tell you, look here, Scorpio, turn on your heart light. You know that, that heart light is all, did you unscrew the light bulb again, Scorpio? Every time I tell you to turn that light on, you always saying, okay, you're going to get to it. And I done looked at that, you ain't even got no light bulb. I can't believe you done unscrewed the light bulb to your heart. <laughs> so, Scorpio, it says, reflect on a time when you experienced love. <sighs> that's a hard one, ain't a Scorpio, but it's not because think about it. If you would really allow yourself to really reminisce and think about a time when you were in love, that it felt good. It could very well be <laughs> with the ex and you know, you don't want to think about that person. But if that is the person that, that, that if you can really think about really good times with that, that can, Conjure up this energy of love because that's what you're doing. You're invoking this energy of love, which is the highest energy. It says, turn on your heart like then that's going to stimulate your ass, Scorpio. Some of y'all heart is sitting in the dark and group cobwebs and shit, Scorpio. And how, yet, yet it's still you're manifesting, you're praying, you're doing that spiritual work for your person but your heart is still low key in the dark because you, you need to turn it on. So, but it says reflect on a time when you're experienced, uh, when you experienced love. So it's telling you, like I said, it's telling you reflect on the time when you really experienced love. I'm talking about when, when that person walked in the room, male, masculine or feminine and, and your heart skip a beat. Come on, I know you remember this. Now, I know, it, let's say when your person calls you and you say hello, and then you hear their voice. Let's say if you hear your person's name. Let's say if, if you get a, you, you, you run into a, you pass by a person and they have on the exact same cologne as your bae or your boo did. It's telling you to think about the time when you was in love. Reflect on that time because that's going to raise your heart energy, Scorpio. It's going to raise your heart chakra and you're going to be more receptive for love because some Scorpios are closed from love and spirit is telling some Scorpios to take a break and nurture yourself so that you can get your energy prepared for what I have in store for you. And what I have in store for you, Scorpio is love. So it's like spirit is trying to take, trying to get you to clean up your heart space, get all the cobwebs out, uh, turn some lights on, you know, light up some, some scented candles in, in the heart space and, uh, uh, put on some nice music in your heart space, Scorpio. You know how we do when we, when we ready for our mate to come in. Now, you know, when you waiting on your dude to come over for dinner, cause you know what it's going to be. Y'all going to eat good. Y'all probably going to watch some TV. Y'all going to drink. Y'all going to do whatever, but it's always going to end up on a very a passionate night. Okay. So spirit is telling you to think about your love life. Think about how it felt when you were in love and when you felt love. Even if it was in a relationship before it turned bad, Scorpio, spirit is telling you to think upon the good things because it's going to raise your heart energy, Scorpio. Now you have the number 40. Now you remember, Scorpio, this is amazing because you got this card the last time. So this is spirit is really talking to you about what you can do and the power that you have. It says be in the present and dream of the future. Remember that you remember that we did this on the last live that I did on Halloween Eve, I believe, because it says when you dream 
everything is possible. You remember? Spirit is telling you, be in the present and dream of the future. When you dream, Scorpio, everything is possible. But if your heart space is in the dark, if you're closed off, if you're overexerting yourself uh, towards things and uh, things and people that are not given to you, then when love comes, you're not going to be ready for it. And you're going to start doubting love. You're going to get comfortable with it not coming and manifesting. And you're going to just, you're going to be going through the rituals of manifesting and praying or, or meditating and praying. But in your heart space, you really don't won't really be, be believing because when you believe something can happen, you prepare for it. You prepare for it. I'm telling you prepare for it. It's just like my mom. And I hate to keep using her as a reference, but I, I experienced so many beautiful things as a child from her faith and her faith was flawed. Her, her religion was flawed because she was a, a devout uh, a Christian. But I, I always remember her faith was so strong because she she believed in preparation. She would she would pray all night long, and in the morning time she would tell us to get up, clean up, and get dressed. She would tell us that, and we had no proof, nothing but her prayers. But it happened so much; it always came to pass every single time. I can't remember time when it didn't happen, but we, you know, whatever she did, she prayed, she, she moaned, she did all that. Us preparing ourselves was amping that, that thing to come because it showed that we believed it. We got up and we cleaned and we cleaned ourselves up and we prepared. We didn't know what we was preparing for, but we was preparing for something and it always came. So spirit is telling you, be in the present. And dream of the future because Scorpio, when you dream, everything is possible. Everything is possible, but you're going to also have to believe. You got to believe and say, when you dream, if you dream, you got to believe that shit because it's possible. It's possible. Now your next card, Scorpio, is the number 16 card. It says, love is all around you, Scorpio. (laughs) Scorpio, I always tell you that love is all around you because it is. It is. It is. See, I feel like Scorpio has always had a lot of love around Scorpio, but a lot of times your heart space is not is not open to it. Um, you're overburdened because of things, because you need to heal, because you need things to happen in your life. And so you don't really be open to it and it just be going all around you. You just be, Scorpio, excuse me, Scorpio, you don't you be oblivious to it because you're caught up in things that no longer serve you. But love is all around you, Scorpio. Now, this says there is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this is the truth. This Now, it says simply acknowledge this as truth. Damn. It says there is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So it says love is all around. That's what I always tell you, Scorpio. Scorpio, love is always, always around you. It is. And Spirit said, just acknowledge that it's truth. Just, just acknowledge that it is the truth. Or acknowledge it as truth and just go on and you'll realize that love is all around you. So it's almost like Spirit wants you to change your perception of love um, uh, uh, or how you go at love. Instead of, I don't know, it has to be a, it's like you have to fall in love with love. You have to get to know love. But first and foremost, you have to have self-love. If you have self-love, then you will understand love. Because love is all around you, Scorpio. Some of y'all ain't even looked up to even realize that you have it all around you, but you do. And so this next card is the number 33 card. And it says, appreciate this moment who Scorpio spirit is talking to you it says every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love it's all about love Scorpio whisper this whispers of love is all about love I'm telling you it says appreciate the moment this moment appreciate this moment every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love so I feel like Whenever you're out and about and you, you know, you know, cause nothing happens just bad, you know, just randomly. Everything I feel like is, is faded, faded events. When these mom moments arise, don't, don't put, don't brush them off. Engage a little bit. It says, appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. You know, <laughs> I used to, um, 
I used to, you know, I, I think that there is a difference in, um, you know, not settling and a difference in not, uh, prejudging people based on what you see in a person here. But a lot of times, you know, you can give a person a chance and you realize that they're not the one for you. But I also feel like there's nothing wrong with setting a standard for yourself because I've dated guys just because, you know, I, I didn't, I never judged. And because I'm not and sometimes that could be your downfall because you ain't no high maintenance materialistic person. Then that may, means that your standards should, and it don't mean that it's bad, but your standards may not be as high. And that could come back to bite you in the ass and really play against you, especially because you're going to come up really, come, you, 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 you cutting your own self out when you do it like that. But that, that's my, that was my old way of thinking. And I would give guys a chance and I would date them. And I realized, what the hell am I even dating you for? You know, what, what, you know, like, like I remember I had dated a guy briefly. So a little short story time. And I met him during the pandemic. So, you know, everybody was bored. So, I would go over to his house now and then. We would, it was never anything, nothing uh, sexual. But we would hang out here at this big ass uh, TV and we would just watch TV. But he really wasn't on my level. He really, really wasn't, you know, I, I get so turned off. And I know most men can't understand it, but I get so turned off when a man feels like that just because they're a man and you're a woman, they have to hit on you. I just enjoy the companionship. And I got tired of trying to fight this idiot off of me. But long story short, I ran back into this guy a couple of years later. He saw me out and he approached me. Now I was going into this little shop, this little uh, outlet mall, different little stores and different suites. And so he kept following me in these stores. I'm like, oh, damn, you follow me. I thought you were just going to the store because he already knew that I didn't want to. I didn't want to be bothered with him no more because I made it plain and simple. You know, look, this is just, uh, you know, just stay away. And so he kept following me. And so. I said, so he wanted my number again. And I'm like, I said, why do you want my number? I said, well, you must want to take me out to lunch. And he said, uh, I ain't got no money. <laughs> oh, my God. Scorpio, when that man said he didn't have no money, I'm like, oh, that, you know, I'm like, really? I know that you are beneath me because a real man would have at least lied. <laughs> you don't sit there and just look like you are nothing. And so I'm like, oh, this is, uh, you hunt me down just, just for what? I mean, you don't have nothing to offer. You look like you worse off than you was when I first met you. I'm happy, you know, I'm lo no longer talking to you. But the point I'm trying to say is, um, is that you never know when the opportunity is going to present itself. But even though an opportunity presents itself, you still have to know your worth. Just because you can have a stimulating conversation with someone and they, they talk good and, and look, they may work at Kroger's and I ain't knocking nobody hustle. Please don't come for me. But I'm just saying, look, I'm 50. I don't need a man working at Kroger's as a, as a bagger. I'm just saying, I'm not saying I'm all the way together either, but we need grown folks shit. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying, and I'm saying all that too, Scorpio, because the last card underneath the bottom, I'm rambling, but I have to tell you is focus on love. It says, look for the good in everyone. So a lot of times you can look for the good in people and you get burned. You know, sometimes you need to look at it for what it is. Sometimes people will waste your time because they ain't shit. They ain't got shit going on in their life. They just hoping that hopefully you would feel sorry for their ass because everybody else done got rid of them. It's pretty much, and that's just, the people just go from person to person to person looking for somebody who they can um, take their burdens and dump them off on pretty much. And it's sad to say, but this is real reality. But Scorpio, for you, you set your standards. You know your worth. You've been in this high, you've been in this empress energy. You have love all around you. Spirit tells you when you dream, everything is possible. Spirit is telling you it's okay to love. It's telling you to turn on your heart light. So that means it's okay for you to love. It's, Spirit is trying to prepare you to love. That's why Spirit say focus on love. It says, look for the good in everyone. You can look for good, but once again, don't mean you got to settle for that good ass. They can have a good ass conversation, but just ain't shit for you. I'm just saying, these men need to stop. Most men feel like just because they have a penis and you have a vagina, y'all supposed to hook up and that's a lie. Sometimes you're just supposed to just talk to that person right there in that moment and that's all it's supposed to be. But you get so tired of men always trying to holler at you. It's just distasteful. It's like y'all need to step y'all game up because y'all just, 
Y'all, most of y'all men wore out anyway because you done already drugged somebody else out of a relationship and they don't want you. Now you're trying to find a new victim. Okay, Scorpio. So <laughs> the moral of this <laughs> Oracle deck is that you are awesome. You are what you attract, Scorpio. So if you are full of love, if you believe, if you have the faith, and that's exactly what you will attract. Uh, if you haven't fully healed yet, then you might need to really rest and relax and uh, focus on your time alone so that you can heal because love is always around you. Whether you're happy or sad, love is always available for you. I feel like that is a gift for you, Scorpio, from the divine because of who you are. You know, I bet you've lost count about how many times you've shown love to people. You've extended your love when people probably didn't even give it back. People have take, taken your kindness for weakness, but Scorpio being the big picture, Scorpio going to cuss your ass out. But if Scorpio really love you, Scorpio really got your back. And a lot of people don't appreciate Scorpio until Scorpio is gone. So that's the moral of that story, Scorpio. But you have love all around you. And this one, which is in reverse, but I'm not taking re reverse. It says romance. It says lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. I feel like someone wants to do this for you, Scorpio. I feel like... Spirit is trying to prepare you for love because the type of relationship that's coming towards you is going to be a loving person. And some Scorpios may not be used to someone really, really invested in them and really loving you. You know how you look at, you know how you see other couples, I'm talking about the real legit couple where they man is really involved, that the relationship is really a sturdy, solid relationship. You know you can see a couple and you can tell when it's real and it's fake. I'm talking about something real. Well, Mary say that real love... I'm searching for real love. <laughs> Talking about that Mary J. Blige, real love. Some of Scorpios don't know the real love. So that's why Spirit's trying to prepare you for this love, Scorpio. So when it comes, you don't bang it and <laughs> bust out with your stanger and run it off, okay? <laughs> now let's pull these tarot cards and see what Spirit has. All right, Spirit, show us. Show Scorpio what you have for Scorpios for the birthday Scorpios, the water elements of Scorpios. Happy, happy birthday, Scorpios. Much love and abundance to you all. You deserve it, Scorpio. Yes, you do. Look at that. Eight of Swords here. Somebody tied up. Somebody stuck and trapped. Someone could be going to jail too, Scorpio. I know this is a way of starting to read, but you see me shuffle. It's the Eight of Swords. Someone is probably stuck on you. Now, some Scorpios are stuck in their head. Some Scorpios are stuck on an X. Some Scorpios are stuck in situations that they don't want to be in and they're hoping for a way out. And I feel like spirit is going to help you. Damn, Scorpio, Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. This energy change with this. The, 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 I change. Look, this Miss Cleo deck right here. This is the Miss Cleo deck. The energy just went off, didn't it? The Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Someone is trapped, feeling betrayed. So it seems like someone is trapped, feeling betrayed, Scorpio. Ooh, wait, Spirit, what is going on with Scorpio? Is this Scorpio or someone that is attached to Scorpio? Spirit, sh show me. Ooh. Well, that wanted to show up. <laughs> Here you are. Look, the spirit got your love. Spirit want to give you this love. I told you spirit was preparing you for this love. You got it right here with this Ace of Cups here. Some Scorpios is, is needing to be healed because you're not getting over things that happen. It's, it's standing in the way of, of real love coming in for you because you're too busy holding on to the, the disappointments from your last relationships here. I feel like Spirit wants you to think about the good times. Clarify this Ace of Cups, Spirit, for Scorpio. What's going on with this Ace of Cups? Nine of Cups here. Nine of Coins. That's the Nine of Pentacles here. So I guess this is Spirit trying to give this to you. You're the Nine of Pentacles. Spirit, See, this is like Spirit trying to give this to you. And, and I feel like this is for you, Scorpio. I feel like Spirit is trying to give you this opportunity in a new love relationship, love that's overflowing. But not only that, Spirit is also setting you up in a good financial way because it's like some Scorpios are ready for this new love because this is a good place to uh, start with some, some love is in the Nine of Pentacles because you don't have any baggage. You know, you, you can come in and you can 
this this is the type of energy you can really build with someone. You both coming in in the nine of pentacles energy. Y'all can build something together, but you're sitting here in the nine of pentacles, Scorpio. Now, someone attached to you could be feeling, you know, stuck on something and feeling disappointed or betrayed. And it could be for some of you Scorpios uh, because of life situations, because of a relationship, because of a lot of different reasons here. But spirit is trying to bring love into your life, Scorpio, for those who are looking for love. And, and for some Scorpios, some Scorpios need to relax and just chill and heal. Uh, because right now you're not going to attract love because you're in a very broken place. But when your healing takes place, you have love all around you. It's, and then Scorpio spirit could be sending someone who can help you heal. You know, I mean, you know, you, you're good at healing yourself, but sometimes you need that, that spiritual support. Sometimes you need other, you, sometimes you need a, sh a shoulder to cry on. You know, I understand that, but I feel like spirit is sending you somebody Scorpio in the form of this ace of cups. Someone who is going to be compatible with where you're at and what you're striving to be, Scorpio. I wonder what's up with this. I'm going to have to wait a minute. Spirit, show me some more energy for Scorpio. There go the Empress, Scorpio. Look at you showing up. Is this you, Scorpio, the Empress? I feel like, look, like I say, I'm not going to, I feel like some Scorpio, I know some Scorpios are healing and I know some Scorpios are, are, are prepared. You're ready for your person here, but regardless Scorpio overall, generally, this is good energy for you. My, whatever this eight and 10 of swords is because you know, your worth as the empress, you're if you know your worth as the empress, then you can, you can give selflessly to a person and not expect anything and not overextend yourself to the wrong person. Because you know your worth. You're in a different category now. What's up with this Empress for Scorpio spirit? The Empress. Is this Empress is healing? Is the Empress healing here? With this four swords here. I'm going to clarify this here. So I feel like. I feel like this is how you're, 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 you the Empress because you know how to heal. For some of you Scorpios, you're pregnant and you need to heal and focus on recovery and getting yourself where you need to be physically so that you can be strong emotionally as well. I feel like this is why the rest and relaxation card is here because you're overextending yourself. You're probably worried because especially if you're pregnant, you've had to recover. You, you're having to, you probably be bedridden because you're stressing out. You could be stressed out because things are not going in your favor right now, especially if you are pregnant here, but I feel like things are going to turn around for you. I just feel like it's, especially if you're pregnant to only focus on you and your baby at this time, you don't need to stress out over anything else. Let those things take care of themselves. You need to take care of yourself so that you can be healthy and be at peace here. So I feel like some Scorpios are either some Scorpios are pregnant with child, um, and needing to recover, needing to heal, stay to yourself, or regroup, you know, keep it together. And for some Scorpios, that's how you maintain your Empress energy is by staying to yourself and uh, constantly staying in your spiritual self and, and seeking answers and healing yourself, you know, and that's, that's what it's going to take here. All right, spirit, give me some more energy for Scorpio. Oof. Got the page of cups. So someone wants to come in and apologize to you about what? Clarify this page of cups. Oh, that's what they want to apologize to you about, about this third party interference. For some Scorpios, you're pregnant by your person and your person had stepped out on you with somebody else and they want to come back in and apologize to you because of stressing you out. You're dealing with too much. That's why spirit is telling you, release that shit. That ain't yours to bear. Don't worry about that. That'll take care of itself. This person want to apologize to you. For some Scorpio, someone wants to apologize to you for putting you in a third-party heartbreak. Now you have the king of coins, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn here. So you got a lot of air energy. You have the eight of eight of you got the three of swords, the four of swords, the eight of swords, the ten of swords here. Damn. There's a lot of swords energy in here. So this king of coins here. Now let, let's see who, what this king of coins is all about here. 
Spirit, clarify this King of Coins for Scorpio. Who is this? King of Coins, the Tower. So something happened with this person here that you did not see coming here with this king. I feel like this is what happened. You Something you found out about a third party situation here and it ended. It, or this king of coins ended it abruptly with you or I just feel because this, this tower woman catches you by surprise. You don't see it coming. I'm going to clarify. So let me hurry up. Spirit, show me some more energy for Scorpio. Dang, Scorpio. Now you have the six of staffs here. So this is success. This is recognition. This is victory. Clarify the six of staffs. The wheel of fortune here. I feel like you are winning, Scorpio, because remember you're sitting as the nine of pentacles. I feel like you're on your game. This is why you're nine of pentacles and the empress energy here, Scorpio. It's just that I feel like most Scorpios are on their game. They just alone. That's the only thing. You just don't have that. You just don't have that person with you. You, you, this, this is why spirit's trying to prepare you for love because you're, you're doing the work. You're, you're doing your part. You're doing your part. So six of, six of stabs and a wheel of fortune is, that means that things are turning in your favor, Scorpio. You're getting success. You're getting victory. You're winning. Things are doing good for you in your life, Scorpio. This is why you have, and some Scorpio just got a brand new job here that pays good. Look, they go that long-term commitment with that Ten of Pentacles. See, Scorpio, this I feel like this Ten of Pentacles is going. Well, I'm gonna have to clarify. I forgot I'm clarifying. You got the Ace of Cups here. Ooh, Spirit, what is up with this Ten of P Coins for Scorpio? What is this about? Ooh we. Eight of Coins, Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away from a long-term commitment here. Somebody walked away from a long-term commitment. Give me one more card for Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, look. There go another opportunity. You got the Ace of Coins and the Ace of Cups here. This is a, another opportunity, Scorpio. Some Scorpio is about to start their own business here. With this Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Staffs, and this Ace of Coins. Because you're heading in the right direction with this Nine of Coins here. Clarify this Ace of Coins for Scorpio Spirit. See? Eight of Staffs. Something is about to take off for you. Something is going is it's not going to take long either. Something is going to take speed. Very, if you, Like I said, if you're starting your business, it's about to take off in a very, very major, major way, Scorpio. This is why you have the Six of Staffs and the Wheel of Fortune card here. The spirit is shining down on you. You're winning. Whatever your thing is, a job, a career, you're winning, Scorpio. And you got the Five of Coins. Someone is feeling left out in the cold here. It could be you, Scorpio, or it could be someone. Somebody's in this eight and nine or ten of swords. So let's 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 see. Time is it? Like this gonna be kind of long too. All right, Spirit, why is this Eight of Swords and this Ten of Swords here for Scorpio? Who is this and what is it about? Clarify this Eight of Swords and this Ten of Swords. Spirit, clarify the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Eight of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Cups. Someone feels stuck. Someone is stuck. Maybe someone is stuck in a relationship. One more card for this Eight of Swords. Seems like somebody was stuck in another relationship and left someone feeling dis disappointed and backstabbed. Look, nine of swords. See, someone was stuck in a relationship that someone was someone was worried and stressed out in a relationship that they were stuck in. Scorpio, they were stuck in a relationship that they were stressing and worried about. What's up with this ten of swords here, Spirit? What is this about? Ten of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Cups. So this is illusion. This is fantasy. This is options here. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Oh, there it is. 
Three of Swords. Someone had too many options here. Someone had too many options. Now, I feel like this person had too many options. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's, I feel like it's Scorpio for some Scorpios and your person and they had other people, two other people. I just feel like it's three different energies here. But I feel like Scorpio, you got something different coming into you. So Scorpio, some Scorpios was dealing with a, a a person who was very very flashy with their money. They probably own their own business, got some good money. I feel like a lot of but see this King of Coins is a very traditional energy. This is usually a married man. So this could have been a person who was already married, but they was in a relationship that they didn't want to be in, but they were stuck in their relationship because they was the breadwinner. I feel like somebody didn't know about this with this tower card, but it left. It, they somebody. I feel like somebody got put in a third party situation, and they didn't. Want, they didn't even know they was being put in one because someone had too many options here, and someone was left feeling backstabbed here. Oof. Clarify this. Uh, ooh, clarify this. Let me see. Clarify this. King of Coins and this Tower card. What's up with this King of Coins spirit? temperance here this person probably was overextending themselves here this person didn't have no balance in their life they probably thought they was the shit queen of pentacles look <laughs> i feel like this person was working their ass off it wasn't no balance in this relationship this person was working 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 for this queen of pentacles this is who they were in a relationship with, Scorpio. You're sitting as the Nine of Coins and the Empress. Now, I know this is not for all Scorpios. All Scorpios probably didn't go through this, but just get the meat of this message. You are the Nine of Coins. Finna get this Ace of Coins. Spirit is preparing you for love. If you have a business that's about to take off, you're going to be very, very successful because I feel like Spirit is shining on you. You are on a good time. Good side of karma wheel is turning in your favor with the Six of Stabs and this Wheel of Fortune. Because I know this can get kind of confusing, but somebody left a long-term commitment here. I'm telling you, with this Ten of Coins and this Ace Eight of Cups. And I feel like if, if it wasn't this King of Coins, either this Queen of Coins left, left the King of Coins or the Queen of Coins left them. Because I feel like the King of Coins was messing with Scorpio and Scorpio didn't know it. Now, I don't mean they are a, a earth sign. Just feel like they got money. They was married and they built stuff. But they in a relationship. They don't. They married to somebody they don't want to be with. But they broke your heart and they betrayed you. Because I feel like Scorpio didn't know. Clarify this. Uh, give me one more card for. Uh, no, nah, that's all I'm gonna get. For, well, give me the cl clarify the tower card for this King of Coins. Clarify the tower. The tower card is clarified by the strength card. This person couldn't keep their thing in their pants, Scorpio. They had all their money, and they were just a they were just a hoe. You know they was a hoe because you got the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups next to the Three of Swords. This person was entertaining other options. This person always kept other options. Was going somebody was always gonna get hurt with this one because they had probably, they probably was arrogant. They had their money, so quite naturally they was gonna have a lot of options. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Clarify the Tower and the Strength. Wheel of Fortune. This is this person's karma, Scorpio. They're on the bad side of karma. That's why they got the Tower card. This person's being judged based on what they have done, Scorpio. I feel like this person was just doing too much with this Temperance card. They just, they just, this person didn't even try to make change. This person was a hoe. This person was in a full relationship, yet they was in a hoe dating multiple, multiple people. That's what I see, Scorpio. Now let's see about you. I ain't want look. Oof. All right, let's see. What time? How much time? Okay, let's see. All right, what's this page of cups and this three of swords about, Spirit? Clarify this page of cups. What they want to talk about. Somebody, this king of pentacles, somebody's going to be left out in the cold with this queen of pentacles. I feel like this queen of pentacles is going to shut it down. Now, either this queen of pentacles left them, because you got it twice here. You got the ten of pentacles with the eight of cups. Somebody left this long-term commitment. You got the Eight of Swords up here, Clarence found the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Somebody was in a relationship they didn't want to be in. This is why they was out here entertaining other lovers, all these different options. So I feel like the King of Pentacles got left. This is why the King of Pentacles' money is probably going to be funny now. 
Because you know the Queen of Pentacles is going to make sure she get hers. Ooh, child. Clarify this page of cups. Ooh, Scorpio. Another, another love opera. <laughs> Shit. Another, look, the page of cups, look. This is what they want. They want to tell you they sorry and they want to start all over again, Scorpio. For some Scorpios, you got a baby on the way about a married man that you probably didn't know that they were married or you probably knew that they were married, but you didn't know that this person had other people other than you. I feel like this person, I feel like you knew about this. Some Scorpios knew that this person was married, but you didn't know this person had other lovers beside you. Clarify this page of cups. Look, they want the relation. They want you to forgive them. They said, come on, let, let's let back on be back on they don't want you mad at them anymore, Scorpio, because they know you are, because you had to take a break and heal with this four sword, the Empress. Now, some Scorp all Scorpios are not expecting babies. Some Scorpios are just in this uh, uh, goddess energy, divine goddess energy, where you know your worth, and this 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 relationship had really uh, broke you down and really taught you a lesson. So your lessons have empowered you and elevated you. I feel like you're very successful in your business life. I just feel like in your love life, you just took a little blow. And for some Scorpios, you know, this may not be your case, but I do see success and victory coming your way here. So this person wants to start over with you. They want, they, they want to start over with you. So what is this three of swords about, Spirit? Clarify this three of swords for Scorpio. Three of Swords, look, the Queen of Wands. See, this person had another lover beside their wife. They got the Queen of Wands. Cause look, you got the Queen of Cups right here. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles right here. This person was out with the Queen of Wands. This is this, this who they put Scorpio in a, a third-party situation. It wasn't the wife, which was the Queen of Pentacles. No, it was this old flirting chick over here with the Queen of Wands energy. <laughs> You know the Queen of Wands don't get no damn shit. He was a baller too. You know he was paying her. That's why they that's why they ask gonna finna beat. Look, Queen of Wands and the Eight of Swords. This person was stuck on this person. This Queen of Wands probably was putting some love spells on his ass to keep him stuck because he had that money. But this person is going down, Scorpio. I feel like this King of Pentacles was on their high horse. They not only did they cheat on their uh, uh, Queen of Pentacles, but they also had they didn't just have you, Scorpio, but they had other lovers too. This is why this person's about to lose everything with this Tower card here, and this Five of Pentacles. Their pride and joy is their money. They're about to lose this shit. Mm -mm. Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh, I don't even want no, no, want no, no, no. You know what? I'm. Um, let me see what this Ten of Coins is about. Now, this is their long, whoever you was involved with, this is their relationship with this Ten of Coins. Clarify this Ten of Coins. Let me see what was up in this Ten of Coins relationship. Clarify this Ten of Coins. I get to rambling when I get tired. Damn, they was in it for the money, Scorpio. Cl Scorpio, when I clarify Ten of Coins, I get Ten of Coins. It was all about the money. <laughs> you know it was because you got the king and the queen of Pentacles. They married each other for money, but they wasn't happy together. That's why this person, they probably stepped out on each other. Ooh, Scorpio, this is a love opera again. Give me another card for this Ten of Coins and this Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles here. So this is why this person wasn't building nothing with Scorpio because they was they money was tied up. They was probably greedy and selfish too. Give me another card for this Ten of Pentacles. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? This is probably why this person didn't come in and commit to you the star card here. So I feel like oh, this person, what is this about? The star card is here. All this person, maybe this person was slow to repair their relationship, this marriage that they were in. They just kept on stepping out and cheating on this relationship. Instead of healing it, they just, this is why you got temperance here. This person was overdoing it. They was a beast because you got the strength card. This is uh, taming the beast. They wasn't taming the beast. 
They was arrogant as the king of coins because they had it like, you know, they look, you know, they had it like that, Scorpio. The king of coins got the ten of pentacles and the ten of pentacles along with the queen of coins. So, you know, they were some boss. They had that money. This person was arrogant as hell with their money. And this person overdid it. This person overdid their, their, their infidelity. And I feel like this is why spirit is shutting them down and taking everything from them. So they're coming back in to apologize to you, Scorpio, and start over. But I felt like they person left them. Now, let me see. I have to see. I want to see what this last card. I'm sorry, Scorpio. It's out here. I want to see what, what this eight of wands. Now, this eight of cups. What's up with this eight of cups? Who walked away? Who who left who? But he the the King of Pent Pentacles is the one that's cheating. Clarify this Eight of Cups for Scorpio. Page of Pentacles. This is some good news. So somebody gets got an offer somewhere else here. This is why they left. So it could have been him. He thought the grass was oh. Give me another card. Could be their person. Two of Pentacles here. This person, I feel like somebody, I feel like this is what they were both doing. They probably, everybody probably was cheating on everybody because they wasn't happy in this relationship. Scorpio, whoever you're with, whoever you was with, whoever you possibly could be expecting a child with, this person is married in a loveless relationship because of the money in this image. And they have made a lot of money together. They're wealthy based on these this energy but they mishandled it. They both were prideful, arrogant. They both are adulterers. They cheat on each other. There's no faithfulness here. There's not even love here. They just had the image of love in their relationship, but they wasn't. This person is going to try to come back in and apologize to you and to start over with you. I do see that. But I feel like this all that they both do is just go entertain. They're easy to be drawn away to uh 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 other things that they're easy to be enticed by things because you got the page of pentacles and the two of pentacles they're easy to be enticed away with this eight of cups they always searching for something better but they not leaving this but somebody finally left give me another card for this eight of cups it could be your person because they coming back in to apologize to you and try to start over with you oof but they ain't got no money though this queen of pentacles when she get through with them they ain't gonna have no money Look, the Ten of Swords. See? That's all they do is betray each other. with the, Betray each other with third-party situations, what they do. Ooh, so I see why you and the Empress and the Four of Swords, you had to heal from this shit. Ugh. This is disgusting. And see, at the bottom, you got the Four of Swords again. This person really put you through a lot of shit. I see that. But this is why Spirit is elevating you, Scorpio, with this Six of Wands and this Will of Fortune. I feel like spirit is giving you another opportunity uh, as something that's, that's, that's going to be, uh, that's going to take off in an amazing, amazing way for you. A business. I, I feel like it's a business because you're dealing with pentacles. You're either going to get a message of it, but I feel like you may even have to travel for it, but it's here for you. You have brand new love coming your way. You're sitting as the nine of pentacles. So you're good on your own as well as this empress energy. So you know your worth. So in all of your healing, you have grown. You did a lot of growing here. Ooh, Scorpio, I don't want to read no more, but I'm sorry, Scorpio, but this is what came out. This is what it is, but Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, let me see, can I pull, uh, let me see, what do I have, what do I have, do I have anything close on here? <laughs> sorry, Scorpio, I just can't believe this person here, I just cannot believe, let me pull a couple of these cards here. All right. All right, Spirit, what's going on between Scorpio and this person? What does this person want Scorpio to know? What does Scorpio person want Scorpio to know, Spirit? Happy birthday, Scorpios. I hope you have an am amazing, awesome, awesome birthday. Remember to keep that same energy, Scorpio. Don't just celebrate the day you were born. Celebrate Scorpio and keep your energy positive. Guard your energy, Scorpio. Everybody don't deserve to be in your face. All right, everybody don't deserve to get close to you. You got some real weirdos out here. Most of them know they foul and they still to try you. Spirit, show me. These cards are all over the place, Scorpio. All right, show me Scorpio, Spirit. 
man, they want to come out. Trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. Spirit said it's safe for you to trust in this situation. Now, whatever this situation it could be, it could be in. I feel like for some Scorpios that have a baby by someone who was married, I feel like that's what Spirit is telling you to trust in this situation. Meaning that Spirit is going to take care of you and that baby. Because I feel like this person is not going to be in a position to really do much. Forgiveness. See? Forgive yourself or another will help you move forward. Some Scorpios are doing exactly that and have did that with this Empress energy, this Four Swords energy. This is why Spirit is...